this is an email question that came in from one of our listeners. And our email address, by the way, is questions at corechristianity.com. This email is from one of our listeners named Aaron. He says, hey, Pastor Adriel, I'm not sure if you've seen recent news stories about how celebrities like Shia LaBeouf, Kanye West, and Eminem have become Christians, some of them Catholics. I'm just wondering how we should respond when we hear news like this. Some folks are skeptical as if it's all marketing and PR. Some are really excited about it. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I have heard um, and seen some actually some, some videos online. Uh, an interview um, with Shia LaBeouf, and and I know that this is something that people get really excited about. Of course, I mean, Scripture says when when one sinner repents, heaven rejoices. Um, there's a party in heaven; the angels are rejoicing. And so, anytime someone comes to faith in Jesus Christ, I think it is uh, a cause for celebration. But I, here's where we want to be careful. I think as believers, you know, seeing these things in the media, on the news, on YouTube, whatever, um, too often I think that we can be a respecters of persons, and God isn't. Think about what James said in James chapter 2, uh, beginning in verse 1, My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in. And if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and you say, sit here in a good place, while well, you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down at my feet, have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him. But you've dishonored the poor man. Are not the rich the ones who oppress you, the ones who drag you into court? Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you were called? You see, James is very clear. He says, look, if a celebrity, if you will, walks into the church and you give this celebrity all of the attention. You say, oh, man, you get to sit in, in you know, the, the front pew. You're just the guest of honor, that kind of a thing. And then a poor person walks in and you say, you sit here at my feet or there outside and you pay them no attention. What we're doing is is sinful. And I wonder if sometimes, you know, we can we can see these things and we get we get really excited. We can demonstrate this sort of partiality that the Bible speaks against. Um, God has chosen, brothers and sisters, the foolish of the world to shame the wise. The other passage um, that I think I think is is helpful here as we think about this is what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. Consider your calling, brothers. Not many of you were wise according to worldly standards. It's like, gee, Paul, thanks for that. But not many of you were wise according to worldly standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even the things that are not to bring to nothing things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. And because of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, let the one who boasts, boasts in the Lord. You see, we might be impressed when celebrities walk into the church. We might think, oh man, you know, so awesome. God is not impressed <laughs> by any of us. Um, and so we have to be careful that we don't show partiality. Don't look also, this is the other thing, don't look to celebrities uh, who were converted yesterday or last week as spiritual guides, right? They, they don't need to be teaching um, about God and Scripture. We ought to pray for these individuals if indeed they've, they've come to them and pray for them that the Lord would do a work in their lives, that the Lord would continue to sanctify them, that God would get them plugged into solid churches where the gospel is faithfully taught. But brothers and sisters, consider your calling. God has chosen the foolish of the world, the weak, to display his glory, to display his goodness. And so we praise God for anyone who comes into the church 
um, but we ought not to be respecters of persons. Thanks for that email, Aaron. God bless.